is up fam welcome to another haunted adventure my name's omar today i'm at a friend's house that claims that her house is haunted not only haunted but there is a body buried in her basement is there a body buried underneath me right now i'm gonna explain a little bit more on that story let's get to the history of this place I'm gonna go knock on her door. She is expecting me. We're in Los Angeles, California. Came here just to be able to report on this. Make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. Let's do this. Now I did a video once with my friend Josanne AKA Wacky Witch TV. And we went together to the Michael Jackson grave. We did EVP session. It was pretty cool. A lot of you subscribed to her. Make sure to subscribe to her. She does have a up and coming YouTube channel and she does a lot of live streams here in her house. Now she's gonna tell us a little bit more of the stories. This place has been in her family for a really, really long time. It's still owned by her family. A lot of cool history here in this house. In fact, Ghost Adventures was gonna do an investigation here on this house. They came here, they went and like, like peeped it out. They confirmed it is a haunted location, but for whatever reason, they decided not to film here. Maybe because it's even more haunted than they suspected. I don't know, we'll ask her. Hey, this says protected by the ghosts, ghostesses that haunt this house. Hi, Wacky Witch. Hey, How are you? Are. Good. Good to see you. Hi, G. Hi. How you doing? Can I, can I have a kiss? Don't bite me, though. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Does she ever growl at the, at the ghosts? Yes. All the time, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Good to see you. I'm so excited to see you. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So I was actually filming my own video. But Were you? Yeah. Awesome. It's a cute house. Well, I told you the story. You say your grandma used to live here, right? Yeah, that's my grandparents. Okay. And um, they had this house for 60 years. And she died here, right? No, she didn't actually die in the house, but she did have um, ALS. And so she was sick here for over a year. And it was really sad. My son has seen her um, floating over the bed when we first moved in here, like day three. When um, she was telling me this story, she said that her son had never seen what his grandmother right. looked like. And she pulled out a picture. What? Can well, no, just... we, the picture was was in the hallway okay. and he was only five when we moved in here. He was screaming and yelling that night and I came running into his room and he said there was a woman that was floating over the bed and she was like head half white and she, her eyes were bulging out of uh, her head is what he said. What? And then the next day I thought, wait a minute. And I showed him this picture and I said, was this the lady? And he said, yes, mommy, that's her. That's her. Oh, okay. So it's his great grandmother and she was probably just coming to check on him, Whoa. which I thought was lovely. So yes, she's definitely here. And at night we hear, it's like we hear somebody rattling dishes. The cabinets will be open in the kitchen. It's like she still thinks she's here. Yeah, she yeah. does definitely. And they used to play cards all the time in the dining room. So that um, is something that we hear too, the shuffling of the cards. Yeah. The, the, no, the, the chairs, like they're pulling the chairs out we hear that at night a lot like yeah. they're about to play cards so yeah very interesting I yeah uh, Josanne has a ton of stories just last night I guess her son oh, was on that? His... yes oh my gosh that was crazy yeah so her son was on the phone and and the, she heard this voice in it and it woke her up it was it's... at two in the morning two in the morning and what did that voice yeah, say Yeah, it was at two in the morning and I was asleep and I just heard this whisper and it said your son needs to go to sleep and I was like what he's on the phone and it was like somebody was in my right ear. And then I came upstairs and of course I caught him on the phone and he was shuffling around. And then the next day, today, in the car, I said to him, hey, do you know how I knew you were on the phone? And he was like, no. And I said, a ghost told me. And he said, that's crazy because somebody whispered, go to sleep to me. <laughs> so we both heard this. At the same time. Yeah, at the same time. So, and I've done a lot of things to try to clear the house. I know I've gotten a lot of messages and people are like, well, have you done this and you've done that? Yes, I've had a priest in here. We've actually had a ghost investigation team in here um, and flashlights went off and things did happen. And then they left me in here. <laughs> I'm like, great, Gosh. it's haunted. Yeah. So I had to like Gonna leave here. Gonna leave your haunted house. Six years, yeah. So then I contacted Omar and I was like, you know what? You've got to come and see this. And I sent him a few videos. So super glad you're here. Yeah, no, me too. Yeah. Now, what the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you. It sounded like the front door just opened. Yep. Now you said something about the basement too. Josanne does a lot of you know live what? streams. Yes, um, I do. And, and everybody knows the haunted basement and I'm 
and everyone's like, get Omar down there because I always freak out and, and then I cut the live stream off halfway because I'm too scared and I don't have the equipment that you have. So. Oh, it's already going off. It's, yeah. I've had many people come in here. One lady wouldn't even walk through the front door. Really? Yeah, she told me um, that it's it's not a good spirit and that she would not be involved with it. Oh, this is her grandmother's old bedroom and she doesn't even go in here. So have you Do ever you slept in that room? No. No? Why uh -huh, not? Because I kind of feel like it would be disrespectful. To her? Yeah. Okay. No, I have no need to do that. But it would be interesting to go near the picture, right? Kind of. It's still lit up. Yeah. See? I love old photographs. Me too. So. Now who's That the... was on their wedding day. So that, that's your grandfather? Yeah, he died at 104. And when he was 100, he used to still get on this roof. He loved this home. And people who watch my videos know that. Um, they know the whole story of that and how the piece of wood is still in the yeah. um, saw downstairs. Like, he loved to um, go down there and build stuff. And this home All was of like his, his stuff? baby. This home was his really? baby. Really? So he loved his house. So he's probably definitely here, yeah. It's, it's in the middle oh, of Los I don't Angeles. Want to take your... No, here, you hold it. I want okay. you to hold it, yeah. All right, let's get it. So we're gonna okay. go down so into the basement. Down here. Yeah. Now you said all of his stuff is still there, like if he never left, right? Yep. Everything's there, and we never touch it, and we're very respectful of it. <gasps> Why did it go off? Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Let's go. Oh, watch out! There's stuff on the floor. Now, what usually happens down here? So this is this is interesting because. Wait, um, that looks like a little trap door. That's... I know, and we don't know where this came from, to be honest with you. Um, nobody knows where that came from. It wasn't there when we moved in. When we had the house remodeled, one of the construction workers, I, I was buying paint for him, and he told me that somebody shoved him down here, and he refused to come in here. And then his partner um, also said he's not going in there at all. So, uh, they just shoved everything in here. They would throw stuff in here because oh they were gosh. too scared to go in here. So I was just here last night uh -huh. trying to do a video, and I have ghost radar. I just see my head. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's tiny I'm too afraid here. to use the app that Omar uses, so I just used ghost radar, but it said get out. So oh, it I said did. get out. Yeah. And then I've come down here before. It's still lit up pretty good there. Let me just give you an idea. See? What's the story? Like you said that you hired a psychic yes. to come down here, and she yes. said that there's a body buried in yes. the basement. So I hired, when I first moved in here and all that stuff was happening, I hired a psychic lady. First, she didn't want to come through the front door. She said there's something evil in this house. Then I finally got her to come through the front door and she came with somebody else. She called this other lady to show up with her. And we came down here and, and, and before we came through the door, she said to me, stop, there is a body buried down there. What? Do you hear a baby? No, no, I, just, I heard somebody walking. I think I, I think I heard a baby too, yeah. That's what happened last time I was down here. I tried to breathe and come down here by myself and there was a child. Gee, you see any spirits? Park at them. Here's body. the creepy thing. So we open up the door. Look at this. Yeah, that's There's what I was... There's a mound. I was looking at that too. It's all dirt. It looks like a coffin. Oh, wow. Sorry of all the stuff. I mean, they just chucked everything in here. Yeah. It looks like a coffin. Like, it's a mound. Like, a body would be under there. So most of this basement is all concrete floor and you can see it over here, now. here but there is legit dirt right there if you were to bury a body in a basement it would have to be somewhere where there's dirt did they confirm where that body was buried no she would, <laughs> the funny thing is she wouldn't even go this far really she said you need to get out of this home you need to get you need to get you and your son safe uh -huh. um she said it's demonic that was six years ago and i still live here demonic <laughs> what, a, what a savage yeah <laughs> Is this the box of nails you said that fell over? You actually have that yes, on video, I right? Yes, I have this on video. So I was setting up, and everybody was on live stream with me, and the box of nails fell. And then people were like, So it was on there. the box. It was like it was on the it's live stream. Those. See those box of boxes? Yeah. These? It just fell. And this is all your grandpa stuff? Yes. From how long ago? What he died like a decade ago. But look how meticulous he was. Yeah. He loved it down here. I can see where she gets her meticulousness from. <laughs> She's the same way. <laughs> it's very I neat. am. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm not complaining. So, I'm so cool. glad you're here because I've been wanting to do this for years. Have you ever 
done a spirit box down here? Yes. Okay. And, and told me to get out. Oh, th that's when you... Okay. I, yeah, I didn't but that's use all. the spirit box. I was too scared to do that. Uh -huh. But I did use the ghost radar. Oh, and, that's what and, it was. Yeah. And um, for me, that's worked, honestly. Yeah. Um, but... So she hasn't used a spirit box. Not down Just here. Just ghost So we should. This is the scariest part. This is where the guys would never venture into. This is where we hear, like, knocking. And uh -huh. we heard someone laughing down here one night. And then when we first moved in here, this flooded out the entire place. You yeah. can still see there's a box here that's all wet. Uh -huh. I'm talking it was water like up to here. So somebody had to turn that on. And when the guy came down here to fix it, he said, um, we don't know what happened. None of the pipes broke. Somebody had to turn the faucet on. And no one turned it on? No. So about, um, I don't know, a few months after we had it all fixed and all, you know, whatever, taken out, it turned on again by itself. And I had no to come way. down here and turn it off. So then I called the police. And I thought there were squatters in here. I've called the police several times um, in the whoa. night because it's been so scary. Right. <laughs> I thought there were people down here. But look. Yeah, it's still on orange. Yeah. Or so yellow. Definitely. There's definitely something down here. My last video, this was open. And this is my grandmother's clothes. Oh, wow. Look, These are all still of her clothes here. in here. Yeah. Interesting. Um, we, don't, we don't really get rid of touch anything. Um, and then this was this shot. I'm and these okay. have been open. That's my oh, grandfather's yeah. stuff. Yeah, like all his stuff down here. Still. Yeah. So there's down attachments. There. Like they're totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Well, what's and over we there? hear him down here all the time. We've heard the saw. The saw turn <laughs> We've on. We've heard the saw turn on, and we come down here, it's not on. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, look at this phone. Yeah. Cool. Do you need some Chef Boyardee? <laughs> huh? 1961. No way. <laughs> I don't know what's down here. Hey, I've look, never been down here. It's a spoiler web from the 1960s. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. Is oh, it? I don't think that's that old. Let me see. When does it expire? <laughs> wow. Dude. Let me know if you hear something. The door shut. No. Yes. It really shut? Yes. The, the door to, to get in here. Look. They're trying to trap us? Oh, God, no, it's open. Okay, God, scare me. Scared me, man. Nick, she has a she has a paint bucket holding it open. I'm still trying to figure out how old this is. Best Buy. 2002. I mean, Are it's there still any old. spirits down here that want to communicate with us right now? You can make the meter go off. I brought my spirit box. Oh, sweet. Let's do it. You know where I want to go? Where? I want to go where that dirt mound is. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to do a spirit box right over here. Find out whose body's buried down here. They, they say it was a child? That's what the, me, the lady said, the psychic lady. Can I sit here? I guess. Oh, dang. This is really it soft. Is. Oh, no. It is? Yeah, come feel it. It's like you're way more brave than me. Dust. What if a hand pops out of there, Omar? Oh gosh! <laughs> like a zombie like child a hand. Yeah, <laughs> a zombie yeah. child hand. What if you are sitting on a body right now? I don't know. That would suck. What if there's I just, been a I would body feel... and I've lived here this whole time? Maybe that body was trying to get your attention this whole time. Maybe that's what all the hauntings are connected to, you know, some somebody's untold story. Yeah. You know? Now, the app that I am using, there's a link in the description. You can use this app, too. I would be a little careful using it because I used it in my haunted house. And I forgot to mention this to you, and maybe I ask your permission. It, it is rather risky because if there's something here that it is negative, it could make it worse it could give it fuel that's what happened in my house in virginia did a spirit box and i feel like i made things worse dear father god lord just want to thank you so much for first of all allowing us to to make a cool video and and, and be here god be, be here with Josiane, god first of all we we don't want to bring any attention to any negative anything evil here we just want to speak to whatever is here whether it's whether it's positive and if there is something negative here we want to bring light to it and have it leave Josiane alone and leave leave her child alone too god uh we, we just ask you god to please protect us pr protect Josiane, her family uh, from anything evil here god if there is something here god let it make communication with us um 
whether if it's it's evil or, or positive if it is evil though i ask you to, to please remove it from this home In jesus name amen amen so who is down here with us <laughs> that's not like a kid are you a child <gasps> what did that say adam is there a body buried underneath me right now What's your story? Don't. Trump. <gasps> Trump. <laughs> Did it say Trump again? Yes. Dead body. Dead body. Did it say dead body? Yes. It's a dead body. Are you unhappy that we live here? Oh my gosh, it's never, it's never gone quiet like that. Why are you trying to get their attention? Leave. Leave. I know, every time I come down here. I want to speak to the spirit that's in this no. basement. No. <gasps> What's that? That was crazy. Look at the spider web. Is there any kind of draft or wind that's like floating? I don't know if the camera's picking that up. There's like a spider web just floating in. Is there a ghost controlling the no. spider web? I'm just gonna sit on the floor and forget it. It just said dirty clothes. Yeah. It sounds like a child. Is there somebody buried right underneath where Omar is sitting? Who, who killed you? We wanna know what happened. Hello? Is there a child's body underneath me right now? Look, the dog is over there, like, sniffing she around. Never comes. No. No. Okay, it's not a child's body. Is there a body buried down here? Maybe underneath all this wood. She's sniffing like crazy. She is sniffing. Chi, are you smelling for the body? How long has the body been down here? 30? Ghost. 30, 30 ghosts or 30 <laughs> years? Uh, old. 30 years old. 30 years old. Uh, 30 years old. Wait. So there's a body here for 30 years. Who put that body down here? What's your name? <laughs> So Doug, I heard Doug again. Yes, I did too. That's like the Ooh, third I time. Is your name that. Doug? What? What? I want to. Doug, are you here? I want to hear. No. Nope. I want to hear Doug's story. That's that's your dog. Your dog went upstairs. <laughs> Yeah. What happened to you, Doug? Big mistake. Did you hear It was that? a mistake. Okay, so yeah. it was a mistake. <coughs> dad, did Dad kill Doug? What? Did, did they ever rent this house to someone? Like No. This actually um it was just garages. <laughs> And then somebody, and then my grandfather built the house. I'm just trying to see the timetable of 30 years. You want to hide. I said hide. Why do we need to hide? I said hide again. Why do you want us to hide? Is there something evil that's coming? Yes. Great, and I have to sleep in here. All right, fam. So, Josanne, aka Wacky Witch TV, she does live streams a lot down here in the basement. If you want to follow her, check out her channel. Links will be in the description. So, before um, I came in here, like, you know, on video, I did come in here and say hi to her. Um, and I went back to go get my camera. But we came down here in the basement. It was off camera. And while we were all down here, and I didn't even mention this to her because I was the last one, I was like behind her. 
I heard footsteps up there. And have you ever, like, while you're down here, oh, yeah. hear, like, there's somebody yeah, walking up there? Yeah, and I've left the camera. I've left the live stream going because I'm too scared to be down here. Uh -huh. um, and they hear all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And, oh, and the night I left to go get tacos, uh -huh. I beeped my car horn so they knew that I left. And everyone, I didn't even want to go back home because everyone's like, someone's in your house, call the police. Someone's walking upstairs. We were not home. Whoa. Yeah, it happens all the time. I'm not skeptical. I mean, it, it's... It is active. I mean, based on what I've seen too, with, especially with those nails, like being tossed and the spirit box. Let me know here in the comments what you guys thought you heard, because yeah. you know I'm gonna put some subtitles on some of the the spirit box what came through. But you know, of course, there's some stuff that I can't make out. I'm not exactly sure what it's saying, but yeah, let me know. And it was really weird seeing that spider web just kind of was like go towards me, and it's it's gone now. I don't even wait. This it right here. Yeah, it was. The, wait, that's. That's a hair. What? Yeah, it's a hair. Look at that. Are you serious? Yeah, that's not even a spider it's web. It's blonde. Somewhat like a blonde hair or a gray hair. Oh, God. Can't get it off me. Ew. It's like an old hair. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Just hit my head on that right there. Got some photo albums. You know what is interesting? Hmm. These are all the old letters when my grandfather was in the military. Look at all these old letters that he would send. To your grandmother? Yes. Aww. This is all of them. This whole thing. I wanted to add something. Josiane was telling me about this earlier. This radio will sometime, sometimes go off on its own. And like I was like, you know, trying to turn it on and stuff. There's no power. Yeah. Like what would make this radio go off with, with absolutely no power connected to it? And I've seen this happen before. I, I actually caught something like that on camera one time. Uh, I mean, it was a little bit newer radio. This is an old radio, uh, probably from like the 1960s or 70s. And uh, did you do that? No. For real? In all fairness, you could have when you when you moved the book, you could have like done something when you were looking through this book. Uh, I didn't come near that. I didn't even see that. Freaking scared. It sounded like a like almost like a. Like a drum or something, like one of, like a symbol. That's what it sounded like, like a drum symbol. If you're down here with us, make this radio go off. Is that you breathing like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thought it was something else. Sound like static from radio. Are you sure you didn't mess with that lightsaber I thing? I promise you. I, I promise on my grandmother. I didn't touch it. I just wonder why this is like half open. So the radio is plugged in. It's plugged in, yeah. But there's no electricity over here? Because um, look, it's not turning on at all. Like, why would it just turn on randomly? It has. It actually turned on in one of my videos when I left it on all night no. down here. I left the, the playing all night. It's like a 10 hour video and this turned on. Cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Do you need to shower later? <laughs> That's wild. Look how old this is. I've seen those before. It's old. Yeah, it is. The old school pencils, and it's totally fun down here if you if, because we're by our, we're... So we're in Josiane's kitchen slash dining area, and she said that this light will randomly turn. It'll get like brighter. Yeah, it'll sometimes. go really bright, and then it'll go off. And... The other night, this I put this little light lamp in here because that one's too bright. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, we just want the little one. And Jaden and I were sitting in here or in the other room, and it turned on by itself. Oh, wow. Look at this old radio. That was my grandfather's, too. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So there's a lot of, you know... It's like there's a lot of things. things in here that yeah. they had that, you know, that they're attached to still, I believe. And the reason why the dining room is so active... Um, the dining room's crazy, especially when we go to sleep at night when it's totally still. Um, we'll hear the keys jingling over on this little thing over here. These dolls came from my mother. Oh gosh, dolls. She inherited those and we don't know how, like who she got them from. Mm -hmm. But from the time I was a little girl, I was never allowed to take those out and play with them. Ever, ever, ever. Everybody knew it. Like, my, I have three brothers and they were all like, don't take out the dolls. I don't know why they came to me when she died, but so they did. do you play with them now? Yeah, I do videos with them. We just did spirit <laughs> box with them. Oh, nice. But anyway, maybe that's why it's um, so haunted. I don't know. 
What, what was the, the verdict on the spirit box and the dolls? Yeah, we did a lot. It was like 30 minutes. We got all their names. Abby, Jennifer, somebody else. I don't remember, but... Interesting. Yeah, it was cool. Is that what you sent me? You sent me a video one time. Yeah, when I was trying to tell you how legit haunted my house was, um, I sent you a, a video, and these little things, like, this was all shut, and I came in here, I was so scared. It was like midnight, and I came in here and poured myself a glass of water, and these were moving. I remember that. Like this. Both, and, both and of them were going at the same time. The windows were closed. And the windows were closed, and the blinds were shut, and it was really fast. And you were like, is there an air vent? And I showed you around here that yeah. there was no air vent. So. I wish I had the video to that. And, you know, I don't use heat anyway, and I don't. Oh, does that radio ever turn on? Yeah, in the middle of the night, all that, the time. That one, too? I actually caught that on camera, too. Ooh. I have that on a video. We left the house and it came on. What video is that? I want to show that. Um, it's a live. It's a live video. A live stream. And, and I posted it. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just leave the house and leave the camera running. Because when it's really quiet, then we catch a bunch of stuff. Um, so sometimes I do that. Did you hear that? It's like a wind chime. That's what I heard down in the basement. Maybe that's what it was. What's wrong? What's wrong? A lot of you have been asking me to explore this place. 2,000 people have been reported to be killed here. What? No way. Okay, so here is my idea. Hear me out. Hopefully you say yeah, because I think it'd be great. I'm going to go alone first. I'm going to come back up. Maybe grab your camera. Go back down alone again, finish up. You're gonna go down completely alone and then maybe at one point grab my camera. So in other words, this video that you're about to watch is me and James down in the basement completely alone, but it's gonna oh, show. Oh, it's show. Oh, I see yeah. what that's cool. So it's gonna show some of James being alone, some of me, so that's the reason for me coming back and grabbing his camera. We're gonna have two completely different videos. Make sure you subscribe to James so you know when he uploads the video of him being in the basement alone, because it's gonna show a bit of me that is not gonna be in this video that's gonna be exclusive to his. You down? Yeah, definitely. All right, let's, yeah, let's quit wasting time. Let's go yeah, down there. Got much time. Well, actually, I'm gonna go down there. You said you have some more to, to finish up. I up haven't here, even right? been upstairs yet. Okay, you go finish that. I'm gonna go down in the basement. Right. I'll come back up and grab your camera. I go up. You go down. Yeah. There's a third floor as well, like when you go up there, but it's not as big. Oh, the observatory, you're right. Yeah, and something happened up there too. I'm not sure exactly, but. Oh, oh gosh. I don't want to go down here. They always say spirits during the day hide in the basements to hide in the darkness because they're dark spirits. Oh God, this is a big basement. As you can see, we are locked in here. Very cold. Very, very cold. What? This is so cool. It's like a ton of wine bottles and beer bottles. All right, fam. So we are now entering the basement for the very first time. I haven't even shown it on my video. And apparently Omar told me that there is some weird stuff down here. Hopefully I can find like, ooh, look at that, that goes way down there. Huh? What the hell? Omar? 
Ну, вот это. 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 That's really freaking weird. All right, let's go down this way. Oh, I get a weird feeling here. If you guys didn't know, like, as soon as we got here, I started feeling like insanely not well, nauseous. And Omar told me where I started my video was where the blood splatter was. And that's still freaking me out even now, guys. So keep your eyes open. Whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend that was just something normal that just happened, and yeah, that's, we're gonna go with that, Sam. Uh, let's go with that. One thing I absolutely love is that it's If you hear something... Oh. oh, what is that? All that noise is James upstairs. Thought it was coming from in here. I mean, I think it is. What's the story in here? Oh, oh my phone. Okay, gosh, that scared me. Oh. That was weird. I thought I just. I think it's seen like a flash in here. Whoa, as soon as I opened the door, did you hear that? Hello? Could you imagine if there's like a, a homeless person living in here? And what the heck is this? Because I've only seen those like uh, Amazon and shipping places. That doesn't belong in a hospital. Or maybe that's used for something else. Comment below, do you know what that's used for? Like as a hospital? Look at all this stuff. Wow. I get this like feeling like there's something right behind me and I swear, like I don't know if you guys have, I didn't say anything, but I keep on feeling like I hear footsteps behind me. And that's the third time since I've been down here, but I didn't want to say anything. Now the third time, I think I want to say it. Literally sounded like somebody right behind me. All right, fam, so my son just called me. About scared me half to death because it was like really, really quiet. I was in the moment. Turn my ringer off, by the way. Hope you're enjoying how we're going back and forth, James and I. I think it's, it's kind of cool seeing my perspective and his perspective together in the same place. I just took a walk in here as I was talking to Ethan. There's a lot of junk in here. What is this? Is this a story? Oh, these are... Are these lawsuits? No way. Okay, I'm thinking this is a lawsuit. I don't know. I don't know if I want to read all this whole book. This have anything to do with maybe the the hospital, like what you know, some of the what people claim. Oh. All right, there's only one place where I see in any 
glass or bottles sound like a bottle. Did a bottle fall in here? I don't know if something fell. Can you do that again? If you're still here? Make a bottle fall again. Are you here with me? Oh great, now my battery's dying on my camera. Oh! Oh! What just grabbed my hand right now? Okay, I don't know if this just fell off my hand and that's what I felt. Or if something just tried to snatch this away from me. What just tried to take my crucifix from me? As I started talking about my crucifix, it started moving as it's as if somebody like went like that with it. It wasn't dangling like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy right now. Yeah. See, it was. It, I mean, I had it. It was, wasn't moving at all. Do you keep touching my crucifix? Do you like it? Are you a child? Or do you pose as a child? And you're a demon. No way. What the heck is that? What the heck? They had a jail down here? And a safe? Man, that's so cool. Wonder if this thing has ever been opened before. Well, I mean, you know, since it's been sitting here for so many years. Oh, that looks evil. Definitely a treat. What the heck is this? I think I did not see it reconditioned, damaged, or stolen. I explained to him. Is that blood? More blood? And there's a, oh, it looks like a, maybe a, an old doll. Comment down below. Do you like this format where we switch each other's cameras and record part of the video well, for each other? I'll be reading the comments and I'll actually respond to your comment on Omar's video. Who's here with us? Ooh. Who that? Who that? I'm James. Who are you? Leave? Yeah. No. No. Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, run? No, I'm not gonna run. I know you're trying to scare me and I'm not gonna let you do it. Bro, dude, like, 
if, th if this spirit box it doesn't add up to what just happened, I don't know what did. Okay. That's super strange. What the? Did, did something just hit the... Oh my god, bro. There's so much going on in this place. Dude, that basement, I don't know if I... I don't know if I ever want to go back down there again. I'm excited to check it out, but I'm just it. <laughs> but you know what? I have to grab your camera and uh, okay. spend some time down there. Dude, I, I literally was standing here and the freaking, I think I even got it on camera. The freaking lampshade literally fell off. Oh, you, what? Dude, oh, you caught it on camera? I think I did, yeah. It literally fell off. Oh, I didn't get to see up here. Yeah, dude, I want this nice up there. All right. Wow. Bam, it just said bam. Did you hear that? Did it? Whoa. Bro, this is... Do you know who this is? I said yes. What's his name? You know... Bro. I think it said my name. all the time, bro. It said bro? It said name. Buddy. Alright, so if you watched this video and didn't get to watch the part one where we're exploring most of this hospital, also known as the Yorktown Hospital, be sure to check it out. I do talk a little bit more about the history. There is something that we came across that we were not expecting. What? No way, this is where it happened. What the hell? Also, James is gonna have a completely different video than what you've seen today down into the basement, and I am featuring in that video. I have no idea. I am about to grab his camera right now, go back down there, and give you guys an experience. Be sure to subscribe to my friend James. Link will be down below in the description. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. So, I was doing some B-roll. Thought I had completely ended my video, um, but... I can't find James. I've been yelling for him all upstairs. I thought he was done down here. So I am back in the basement. You down here? James. Better not be playing games, bro. Dude, where are you? Are you hiding? Stop playing, dude. Why do I feel like he's gonna jump out and scare me? <gasps> oh my God, James! What's wrong, bro? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? Dude, quit playing around, bro. Quit playing around, what's wrong? Are you okay? What's going on? Huh? What are you doing, bro? Are you are you okay? Did you fall? Huh? Why is your shirt off? My shirt's off. Did you get hot or something? Um, I, I was hot. Did you trip? Did you fall? What's going on? You are filthy, dude. You are awful. You fell, didn't you? I don't think so. Did you hit your head on something? Let me see your head. No. No, I feel right. You just have like a feel like a hot flash or something? <laughs> Why is your shirt off? I don't know, dude. Are you okay? Let me see let me see. Are are you like scratched up or something? Well, where's my camera at? Oh, it's right here. Oh wow, it's flickering a lot. Look at this. Oh, look at my shirt off. It's like flickering. You must have taken it off. It's dirty, bro. It's really. You sure you didn't fall? What the hell? Well, you don't remember taking it off? Are we in the basement? Yeah, you're in the basement. Did you see something that made you take your shirt off? Did you feel something? Or were you just hot? I, I do. I, I was hot. Yeah, I was hot. Well, yeah. I mean, it is hot down here. I was sweating here. Dang, bro, your shirt is soaking wet. You must have been really hot. Bro, I don't remember taking my shirt off, though. Bro, what the f*** just happened, dude? Did I do that to the door? Oh, I don't I know. Do that to the door. No, 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 that 
I was like that. I think I remember walking by by this door earlier. Bro, what's that hell, dude? I'm really like. Look, bro. I think you slipped. Cause look, hmm? look at those marks on the ground. It looked like you. Dude, is my camera recording? Yeah, it's recording. Is it still recording? Yep. Oh, I don't know, dude. But let's look. Let's see. Can it shows like 30 minutes or so. Wait, what? Yeah, you you've been on the ground for a while. Hold on, let me look. I'm just glad you're okay. I I think you might have fell. Bro, I don't... Hey, you got a yeah, you got a big bump on your back. What? Yeah. Unless it's a zit. <laughs> you know what the scariest thing is? Uh, not remembering why my shirt's off. <laughs> your butt crack. <laughs> Bro, what the? I don't... I'm just glad you're alright, dude. I'm glad you're... I thought you fell or hit your head or something, man. I mean, I feel fine, honestly. I just feel kind of like woozy, but... I think you just had a moment. Maybe you passed out or maybe you got too hot. Oh, maybe I... Yeah, maybe I got hot and passed out. Do you think it has something to do with that infection you were telling me about? Uh, I don't know. Like Can you teeth? pass out from infections? Did I have sex in my tooth? Yeah. I don't know. I'm so dirty, bro. Dude, I told you you're filthy. Okay, I don't want to put this shirt back on. Oh okay, yeah, I'm not sure I exactly. No, wait, wait. I don't understand though, because like my camera was here and my light was there. So you must have sat it down and I you think fell. I did. Oh, I'm just, I'm confused right now. I don't want to see anything because I might be wrong. There's a car. There's a car behind us right yes, now. Because the road's out this way. Oh damn. Bro, he's wait. What the hell? He's really quick, dude. Yo, that's the house right there. That's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. The light just turned on. Yeah, what the? Like somebody that did that or a security team? I don't know. I know. Somebody just turned that light on. Yo, there's a car coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what Ooh. the? Oh, what? What happened? Dude, it just disappeared. Unless it's up there and it turned its lights off. Well, if they did, that's the cops trying to observe us. Let's go up there real quick. We will. It's really windy now. We wanted to come here and do like a nighttime video in front of the chainsaw massacre house I'm Trying to figure out how there was a car coming this way and it just disappeared. Okay. No, no, no. This is another car Wait, what? This is not even a car. That's like a big truck Okay, so this is really weird fam I want to just seen a car and all of a sudden it literally disappeared well, or its lights turned off. Yeah, maybe they're up there and they just turned their so lights I off. Thought that's the cops, but Unless there's something crazy going on. Right, we can go Lying past. Oh shoot. What if they uh what if they stop? No, what if they turned into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house? Oh, oh it sucks. Oh is that an ambulance? That's an ambulance! What the heck? What is going on? It's turning around. Oh, it's turning back around. It's coming back towards us. It's coming back towards us. Dude, what the? Get in the car, get in the car, just in case. Just get in the car. I thought an ambulance was gonna pull in there. That's what I thought. Why would it? Why would it go down there and turn around? And then like... Please don't stop. No, it's, it's going past us. Bro, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It literally went there, went by the road, and then turned around. Maybe they got a call? Then why did they leave? I don't... Yeah, they didn't have their lights on. Maybe they're a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. <laughs> I mean, but they, they, they live here. I mean, they work here. That was weird, bro. You want to drive by there again? I still want to know what happened with the, the, the vehicle you saw, and then it just disappeared, and the lights went off. I'm going to drive up just a little yeah. bit, because there was a vehicle that was coming towards us. And it just it just vanished. Maybe that ambulance was for that vehicle. What if cops had the ambulance drive up just to see what was going on so it didn't spook anybody away? Because it literally makes no sense why it went there and just turned around. Now, in case you never heard of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's based off of a true story, but it didn't happen in Texas. It actually happened in Wisconsin by a gentleman by the name of Ed Gein in 1957 the real leather face brutally like murdered this woman right and he took her face Two off women. he took her chest off very graphic you could read yeah. up on it i'm not gonna get yeah. too much into it there's no car up here by the way and he wore it like yeah he wore it on his, and over his body so it was kind of similar to the leather face thing where he wore like a human face dude this really is the middle of nowhere really? just like the the movie 
Oh, there's a car coming out of there. Wait, what? Oh, no. There, oh. Yeah, I swear. Uh, I'm going to turn the light off. Maybe they're going to come down and see I hope not. I hope so. Maybe we can talk to them. There's a couple cars coming out of there. Oh, dude, what? Dude, I hope they're not going to try to, like, hunt, hunt us bro, down or something. Do stop, bro. Maybe we can no. talk to them. What are you talking about? A lot of people come through here. They do not do tours. Yeah. That's exactly what it is, bro. Oh, a car is coming now. I hope we're not getting gonna get followed or something. Uh, huh. Bro, this is weird, dude. Yeah, it is. Oh, please don't come this way. It's following us. There's there's a car there's a car behind us right now. Because the road's out this way. Oh damn. Uh, I hope it doesn't speed up and try to block us in. I think we should just go home. Bro, There's I'm just... having a good time. No, no, no dude, I ain't trying. Look, now they're following are, us. Bro, so what? This is cool. No, it's not cool. Let's get full of Texas it's... Teams on best crowds. No, dude, I don't want to get massacred tonight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hell no, oh, dude. Man. We're being followed right now. This we're, is two ends of the spectrum right now. We guys. probably just spook these people out, man. They're probably just want. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to. Like, like. I see what you're saying. Man. Yeah, there's the house right here. Oh yeah, they totally turned around though. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't slow down, man. Oh, is it? Bro, so do they literally just like anytime a car comes here, like? I think. I mean, maybe. Like yeah. I wanted to interact and see, like, what the. F you know. Well, I'll drop you off. <laughs> Well, you tell me off right here. I'm down. Let's see what they do. So let's go up here. At least go up here and stop and see what happens. Bro, I ain't trying to get like shot. Bro, they're not <laughs> gonna shoot us. Nah, bro, bro, I ain't. I ain't trying to take that chance. Bro, don't get scared. Come on, bro. Turn me off right here. Hell no. Oh, he's still coming, bro. Ah. Uh, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Yet. Just wait. Wait. The rest of this footage will be on the uh, phone. What the heck? Oh, oh, all right. Oh, he's, wait, what the hell? He's really putting his knife on us. Oh, he's totally falling. Are you kidding me? He's turning back around. It's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. And don't it's, go visit it. It's, it's gated it. off. I mean, I read online that you're allowed to go in front and take pictures. People right. actually go right in front and That's take pictures at the gate. That's why I think we were like, you know, like, you know, like, people come to, like, YouTubers house and celebrities that's kind of messed up. This is different. It's though. a road. It was just a road. Right. This yeah. is a public, uh, a famous But, I mean, it is park. nighttime. It's not super late. And we didn't get down and take any pictures in front of the really gate. get out of the car. No. I, you know what I'm thinking is, okay, so that ambulance came through. Right. They were probably fans or something. I don't uh, think, I don't know. I don't know. I, because they're local, they, so why would they do that? Maybe I'm telling you, I'm, I'm thinking it was fans, but maybe they they seen us, and then or maybe they called the ambulance. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that, but that was really it was really spooky. That was really weird, bro. Especially where we were at. Like I was I was freaking out, like Omar was too. But I was excited, freaking out. Like I was down for it. I wanted. It wasn't to a it wasn't a private road. That's that's a public no, road. Yep. Because a couple of people do own property on that road. That but, other road, their road was a private road. That one that went in there. Was yeah. Made, that's a private road, but. Yeah, no, but I mean. But wasn't we there other breaking houses the wall. down that road though? Um, it, it looked like mailboxes. it looked like there was a few mailboxes down the road. Yeah, so, where we turned around. So, imagine if we were gonna do what we were talking about doing. We were gonna walk, like park at the I wish entrance. You did now, yeah, that would have been scary as hell. You want to go back? Bro, I was you want to so go back? back. You yes. Guys, should we go back? I'm no, so I don't down. know. I, I, Dude, I'm down. Bro. Oh. oh, I'm so down for that. Oh, I'm so <laughs> down for that. Oh my god. I didn't notice this is a cotton field oh, right next it? to us. Yeah. 
And that must be a cornfield. Oh, they're all chopped down, though. Yeah. I'd be down there, like, walk through it if it was like that. It looks like they remodeled the house. So I'm trying to compare what the house looks like to what it looked like then. And pretty similar. James, what are you doing? You're probably technically trespassing right now. Look at all those cameras. Looks like somebody tried to break in over here. Yo, I hear that there's a slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse that was in the movie. And I think I know where it's at. You want to go explore it? Maybe some information forms that you can grab here. Looks like there's a paper in, in here. Uh piece of paper with a hole in the middle it's kind of weird check this out they this is an electric fence i swear dude like do not try to uh you want to find out are you serious bro that's electrical well i'm gonna pee on it yeah no if you pee on it you'll get electrocuted you think so yeah, because it's like connected to your... Never mind. All of these fences are electric. Just If you come to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house, come snap a picture. I would highly recommend not coming at nighttime. It's kind of cool. It's like their own little gated community. Why don't you um, go knock on the door? Beware of the dog. Now, I haven't seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie in a really long time. I remember there being a windmill in the movie. Yeah. I'm wondering if this was the windmill. There's also like this strange dilapidated shack off to the side and I, I can't remember that being in the movie. I legit thought it was maybe like a family compound. There are some houses in the back back there. If I had my drone I'd do a like a far away flyover. I mean nothing like over their houses or anything like that. You always want to be respectful. And they do not offer tours of the Chainsaw Massacre house. If they happen to come across this video I do want to uh, tell them my apologies for spooking them out last night. I'm thinking a, a mixture of me coming and doing a pass or two and then that ambulance that pulled out front that were probably fans too. It probably got their attention and they came out and wanted to investigate. I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there like, if you're out in front of my house, I'm going to come out and shoot you. You don't want to shoot somebody being on a public road, okay? I don't know what the laws here are in Texas. I think that's common sense. I mean, if I'm on their property trespassing, might be a different story, but being on a public road, which that's where we were, it can't just be shooting people for being on a public road and maybe taking pictures. I gotta go back and watch this movie. Oh, 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 dude. What happened? Bro, you were serious about the uh Bro, did you touch that wire? What did you do that for? I thought you were messing around. I thought you were freaking joking like you have been all trip, bro. I mean, I wasn't 100% sure. But why would you touch it though? Oh shit. Bro, quit messing around, man. Are you messing around with me? James. James, bro. Yeah, what's the matter, bro? <laughs> ah, I knew you were around. You asshole. Gotcha. Bro, and I set my camera up over there. <laughs> And I have this kid. Oh, I don't dude, know. what the hell? I still don't think you're being serious, but I, I'm not gonna be that dumb and touch it. I can't even see. I don't even okay, James did not touch the wire. I thought you really did touch it. <laughs> oh man, he got us. I thought you got shot or something. I'm here talking about guns. Oh, watch that hole. <laughs> All right, fam, so we just made it to the slaughterhouse, a real slaughterhouse. James is going inside right now to see if they will give us permission. We're gonna try to go inside this active slaughterhouse. All right, hopefully James got some good news for us here. He said 500 bucks, but we'd get an hour. $500? I was just kidding, it's a health code thing. They can't, they can't do it. Okay, we yeah. can't go inside? Uh -huh. and, uh, we, around it. we can go around the back and you can see inside from the back. Well, what said. the hell are we waiting for? One thing that's a little disappointing when it comes to movie sets is they rip them down. They're usually temporary structures. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, by the way, we're referring to the remake 
the actual second movie that was made in 2003. It's a lot of wind here. I did not know this, but there was a 1974 version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I had no idea. That's kind of the angle that they used in the movie, and there was a wooded area right here. They didn't show that there was an interstate. I think Jessica Biel's like kind of running over here. She goes back into that area where they bring in like the cows or bulls or whatever, and she's being chased and being chased. Leatherface is right behind her. Oh, here's a butcher right here. Maybe they're waiting for a delivery or a pickup. I want to give a huge shout out to the Taylor Meat Company for giving us access to the property. Although we can't go inside, at least we're able to kind of tour the outside. We did show some of these parts in the movie. Would have let us go inside, you know, with coronavirus and everything going on. I guess it's like a health code thing. So, oh, I remember that in the movie. And I haven't seen the movie in such a long time. Yeah, there is no cows back there, or any kind of animals. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Gotta go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.